Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Minecraft December slash 2021 set pictures video. I didn't expect to be doing this today. I'm so excited. I'm I'm genuinely so happy right now. This has one of my favorite sets I think of all time for Minecraft now. I'm so excited. Special thanks to Vince. I underscore paint underscore minifigs underscore please check him out on Instagram. He gave me the link to the site that these were found on. He he downloaded all the pictures before they were taken off. I've got a screenshot for proof that they were there. Like, oh my goodness, thank you so much to Vince. You're a legend. Please check him out. Link down below. But anyways, let's go through these sets. I'm so excited about these. These release in December, I believe. These are the three. We also have a separate video you could check out at the end talking about all the other sets that are supposed to be releasing for Minecraft. They've got a weird release schedule for this year. I think it might be because of COVID that they're not all launching together, but these three, at least two of them, I think are really, really great. And one of them, it's fine. It's a Minecraft set, but let's start with the first one. And this is set number 21165. This is the B farm. And unfortunately the pictures aren't the best, but Oh my goodness, my, like, genuinely, one of my favorite sets of all time. It looks so cool, it's so colorful, it's so fun. There's all these different play features inside this set. That figure, first of all, like, it's just, it's amazing. That, that B figure looks just absolutely phenomenal. She looks great. I love the B outfit. We're getting Elytra. Finally, we're getting Elytra. Brand new pieces for that that can actually open and close. They look so incredible. I love the fact that they can do that. We're looking at the back of the box here for that, but there's a little play feature there to the left that you can see. We can actually hide some bees inside, inside the tree. You've got the beehive there. That looks so cool. You've got a birch tree and an oak tree, and the hive is attached to that tree. That looks really awesome. Uh, for the rest of the build, there's this little thing to the side where you can actually crank and have those angry red bees all swarming together, which just looks so cool. Of course, we got to mention the villager. I'm going to get at least two of these sets, I think, for sure. Getting another villager is always something fantastic that I love to get in sets. One of the sets that I have the most of is the melon farm. I say that every time, but it looks great um, to get another one here. And I think that's brand new with the printing. Looks really cool. You've got a little farm there with the water with some flowers and some wheat. And you've also got the campfire, the fire piece, which is really great. And just the bee build itself is just genuinely incredible. I, I never thought to use the one by two transparent pieces for wings. That looks so cool. I don't know how it's on an angle in some of these pictures. Like, I, uh, I, I'm a little baffled by that, but that looks, it's its an incredible set. I love the, the honeycomb piece as well. The printing on that, the baby sheep included in this, it's so unnecessary. It's just, this is such a solid set. I've been rambling on about this for so long now, but it's just, it's fantastic down to the new pieces here that they've got, especially for the elytra, which is just, it's something that we've needed for so long with the bee outfit, the village. It's just so great. It's just genuinely so great. And then it kind of takes a, downgrade i think um but we're going to talk about this next one and this is it, it's fine it's set number 21166 and this is the abandoned mine and it's in quotations because i guess there's like mobs and stuff inside so it's not abandoned but it's a cute set it's fine it just feels like stuff that we've gotten in the past but honestly the best part of this whole set for me is just getting another slime a slime in a cheap set like this is, is great it's fantastic you can't pass that up if you don't have a slime i'd say but you've got a little bit of the minecart system there, so that's fine. And I don't know, is that gravel? I guess that's gravel falling down on the zombie. And you've got a spider and Steve and a crafting table, a spider web. It's cool. It's fine. It, it's it's just a Minecraft set. Like this to me is just, it's just another Minecraft cave set. Nothing special. Uh, it's not too great. But this next one in concept is incredible. And if it was done correctly, would be probably top 10 minecraft sets again uh it's just the colors and everything is great except for one color but anyways this is set number 21167 this is the trading post and this is it's so great to be getting llamas here brand new pieces for them they look fantastic i love them i love the prints i love the back part of them like it just looks great everything about it looks great you get steve you get a skeleton and then you're getting a wandering trader. What on earth? What, like, what, what? Actually, what is going on with the colors in Minecraft and just Lego in general these past few, like this, this year? What's going on? Like, who designed that? Who actually came up with that? I'm looking again. I have to look up pictures. Like, I, I don't ever, I can't, where is that? Like, it, it just, no, 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 no. 
No, no, no. I don't, I don't understand who designed that figure. Who designed even like last year, looking back at last year, it's like with, uh, what was it? The, the illagers and stuff like the color choice is just wrong. There's stuff missing on the face. Like it's just, there, where's the red on the face? It's just something's missing. And why is it bright blue? It, it really shouldn't be. It should be dark blue. I, I don't know, but the rest of it is great. The mine shaft there in the mesa biome, like this looks like such a great and fun set. And even like the little, <gasps> the table flips up. That is so smart to like show what he's trading. That is so smart. I really love that. I'm trying to see in different pictures what he's actually trading. I think I see like a slime ball and then I can't see what uh, he's got a cookie in his hand. So Steve has a cookie in his hand. So I'm going to guess uh, something like that. But anyways, everyone, that's that's all that we have for December. This is great. This is a solid first wave. I, I'm so impressed. Genuinely am by at least two. We, we were this close to perfection with that that trading post set. It, it looks great. And there's a bunch of other sets coming for Minecraft. No dungeons or, or anything like that. No earth, but some stuff for the nether update as well. So I'm very excited about that. At least I think I have all my numbers right. Um, I think maybe the nether set is supposed to be coming out as well. I'm not sure. Check it out here linked at the end. And uh, again, please subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on more sets to be revealed and just news and and if you haven't seen them yet i've got two cmf series which i've drawn a llama for i've drawn the wandering trader uh what else we've got the bees there as well elytra like this is just so fantastic to finally see you get made and i drew that it's gonna be two years now a year i don't know it's, who knows with covid with time and everything but I'm so impressed by this. Like, I, I I, could just talk about this for another hour if I wanted to. Really, it's just so great. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.